Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and in this video, we're gonna go ahead and set up a ClickFunnels order tracker so that we can track all your ClickFunnels orders in a nice, easy to view spreadsheet as opposed to inside of ClickFunnels or whatever other order tracker you might be using. So I have this Google spreadsheet right here, and I'll have a link to it down below so you can access it, and then you're gonna to need to add it to your own Google Drive. I believe it's under File, and there'll be an option for Save to My Drive. So make sure you save it to your drive so that way you can edit it and access it and do everything you need to with it. So assuming it's on your drive now and you can go ahead and make changes to it, let's go on to the next step and examine it. So it's pretty self-explanatory. We have our column titles right up top. So order date, that's when the order comes in. The product, so the product, the individual purchase. Paid, so how much they paid for that product. First name, last name, email, phone, address, city, state, zip, country. All very self-explanatory. However, column M here, verified, is not as self-explanatory, but it is super important to do. So when you set up a tracker like this, ClickFunnels is going to transmit your order information, whether the payment is successful or not. So that means some of these payments are going to fail, even though they're on this tracker right here. So what you need to do before you go in and ship somebody a product or give them access to something is to make sure that the payment has actually gone through and that they've actually paid for your product or your service or whatever. So to do that, I go over to Stripe. Now you might have a different payment processor, which is fine, but if you use Stripe, this is what it'll look like. So I pop up Stripe, and then I scroll through all of my payment information. So I'm in the payments area, and I scroll down, and I look for anything that might have failed. So here's a payment that failed. Here are two more payments that failed. So for these particular payments, if they were on my tracker sheet right here, I'd hit the little drop down and select no because they did not go through, they did not process, the person did not pay. Now if they did pay, I'll just select yes and we're good to go and I can go ahead and ship my product out or whatever the next steps are. So again, ClickFunnels is going to transmit all order information whether the payment is successful or not. It's gonna show up on this spreadsheet and you're gonna to need to manually go in and make sure that the payments did process. Otherwise, you might be shipping people stuff that they didn't actually pay for. So that is a very important step. Now process by is just who processed this order. So if you have more than one person working on this spreadsheet, you could have them enter their name here. If you're the only one working on this spreadsheet, probably not a necessary column. When, so when was this order processed? And then notes, so any accompanying notes for this order. So that's an overview of the spreadsheet. Now how do we connect it to ClickFunnels? Well, we use a tool called Zapier and it's just at zapier.com. I already have an account, but you can make one real quick. And when you have your account, what we need to do is create a zap, so make a zap. And Zapier is free up to a certain point. I think it's either 150 or 200 zaps per month. So if you don't get very many orders, you could probably use Zapier for free, but if you get quite a few orders, you're gonna have to upgrade to one of their paid plans, and I think they start at either 15 or $20 a month. But of course, this is gonna save you a bunch of time, which saves you money, so it more than pays for itself when you need it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and name my zap real quick, so I'm gonna call this my AliExpress cat one funnel and this is just the name of the funnel that i'm going to be using this zap for of course you can name it whatever the heck you want now we need to go ahead and set up a trigger app and in this case it's going to be click funnels so we're going to be watching click funnels for new purchases hit save and continue you're going to need to connect your click funnels account if you haven't already mine's already connected so i'm going to hit save and continue and now we're going to go ahead and select which funnel we want to watch for purchases so I'm gonna go ahead and select my AliExpress cat funnel. So I can search real quick, AliExpress funnel, perfect. And then I wanna watch all funnel steps for activity because I want all purchases throughout the funnel to be transmitted to my order tracker sheet. Now if you only wanted to watch one step, say your initial order page, you could go ahead and hit the drop down here and select say initial offer and then I'll only watch for purchases on that initial offer order form. But again, I wanna watch all orders throughout my funnel, so I'm gonna delete this out or select clear current choice for all funnel steps. I'm gonna hit continue. Now I can go ahead and test ClickFunnels, so ClickFunnels is gonna go and pull in the latest order information, and I can view the purchase information and just see what it looks like. And we're gonna get into more of it in this next step anyway, so I'm just gonna hit continue. Now I need to go ahead and set up our action step in which case is Google Sheets. So I can search for Google Sheets. Here we go. And I want to go ahead and create spreadsheet row. Select this option, hit save and continue. 
And if I didn't have my Google Sheets account connected already, I would need to do that right now, but mine's already connected, so I'll hit save and continue. Now we need to go ahead and select the spreadsheet and worksheet that we want to add a row to. So I'm gonna select my ClickFunnels order tracker sheet and then, or spreadsheet, and then I'm gonna select my worksheet, which is sheet one. Now worksheets are the tabs here at the bottom. There's only one tab, so there's only one option. But if you have multiple tabs on your spreadsheet, you could go ahead and uh, select through those. So coming on in, so order date right here. We're actually gonna plug in a zap meta tag or meta code or merge code or something. I'll have it down below so you can copy and paste it right in here. But it just gives you like a human readable date. So that way you can see when your orders came in. For product, we're gonna hit this box on the right hand side and we're gonna look for a product's name and I see it right here, so product's name. But if you don't see what you're looking for, you can type it in this search box. So product's name paid. And this is the amount they spent on the particular product. And I'm gonna do a search for cents because that's what I'm looking for. Original amount cents. So that's how many pennies they paid for this particular product. And of course we could take the number of pennies, divide it by 100 to get the number of dollars they spent. First name, hit the little box. I'm gonna search for first name and I'm looking at contact, contact profile first name right here. Last name, I'm gonna search for last name, contact, contact profile last name. I'm gonna look for email, email, contact, contact profile, email. I don't know why they say contact, contact twice. Kind of weird, but it is what it is. Phone, contact, contact phone, profile phone, um, address information. So, and we actually want shipping address. Oops. So I search for ship. Contact, contact, profile, shipping address, shipping city, state, zip, country, And we can go ahead and leave verified, processed by, when, and notes blank. So we're gonna hit continue, scroll on down, and we can test it right now by hitting create and continue, and it's gonna send this information to our spreadsheet, or we can skip test and continue. I'm actually gonna hit create and continue, so it'll push the information to my spreadsheet, and I can check out how it looks. So let me go over to my spreadsheet real quick and see what happened. So here we go, we have my order right here inside my spreadsheet, and it looks like things worked correctly. Now I did overwrite my little drop down option right here. So that's kind of annoying, but I'll just go ahead, copy and paste it up there. I can pretend like I went into Skype and verified it and the person actually did pay me the money. So I'm good to go and over here, I'm just gonna write test. So this was just a test order, seeing if it worked correctly. All right, so it seems to work correctly. All the information came over, it's in the right columns and everything looks right. So I'm gonna come back into Zapier, hit finish, Need to go ahead and turn on my zap. If I don't turn it on, it's not gonna function. So make sure your zap is on. Now we can go ahead and actually test our funnel and see if it processes our information and updates our tracker for us. So let me go ahead and check out real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of these OTOs. So I'll just buy a two pair. And then I'll go ahead and buy another OTO, just so we can see how it looks on our order tracker. So here's my order. I should have three cat paw necklaces, two pairs of cat's paw stud earrings, and one pair of cat fancy earrings, or fancy cat earrings. So if I come back to my tracker, I should see all this on there. So let's go over there. All right, so it took about three minutes for the order information to transfer from ClickFunnels to Zapier to this spreadsheet here. So there's about a three minute delay. No big deal really, um, but we can see it's all in here. So we have three cat paw necklaces, two pairs of cat stud earrings, and one pair of fancy cat earrings. How much they paid for everything, first name, last name, email, phone, address, and then of course the verified column. So I would go over to Stripe, make sure that the payments actually came through and processed properly before I go ahead and ship my products out. And that's really it. That's all there is to this ClickFunnels order tracker. It's just a nice clean way to keep track of all your orders that are coming through your ClickFunnels funnels.